With respect to the pipeline to the West Coast, good news uh, last uh, or on Friday. I didn't pick up a lot in the, in the papers as yet, but I think once the hearings get going, it'll get pretty uh, lively. And that is uh, the federal government announced a joint panel uh, to review, uh, hold, uh, hold hearings on the, on the gateway pipeline to Kitimat. When we were in uh, the Great Hall of the People, Mr. Ambassador, the question was how much oil can we buy? When we were in New Delhi, the question was how much natural gas can we buy? Well, we have a lot of both, trillions of gallons of oil. Uh, I converted that to, from 170 billion barrels, trillions of gallons of oil sounds even more than 170 billion <laughs> barrels. And we also uh, have a stable government uh, in Alberta, a stable in this country. It's open, it's democratic. And uh, as I mentioned to the good ambassador yesterday, uh, we are leading the nation in environmental policy and make sure that if we as we develop our resources that uh, they are uh, done uh, with the best intention of always improving and gaining on environmental policy, but also ensuring that uh, what we do in research, we also share with other jurisdictions. And I was pleased to hear uh, all the good work that uh, you are doing on clean coal technology, because I really do think that uh, there's such huge opportunity to bring our universities together, our research communities together, and, and, and see how we can constantly work uh, with research, improve the, the environment, but also share that with other countries to not have, uh, of course, the ability to do the same research we have. Because I, I submit to you, moving money uh, around the world through some cap and trade uh, scheme is not going to deal with environmental issues. We have to invest as much money as we can into the research.